This is Twit. You're not an epidemiologist, so... <laughs> I'm not an epidemiologist, but... <laughs> how? Do you, well, that's the question. I mean, so the one question everybody says is, well, what's, you know, what, what's the medical prognosis? And, yeah. and even the epidemiologists don't know. In fact, the WHO just put yeah. out a thing saying, you know, everybody's counting on the golden ticket, the, you know, the certification that you, you've had it and you're immune. But you shouldn't count on that, folks, because we don't know yet if you're immune. So this whole idea so, of having antibodies may not even work. Right. So something I, I guess I will just announce that I haven't told anybody yet. I think it's probably OK. My next book. So the book that I wrote that came out uh, last year was out of on AI. Um, the next book that I started writing before that other book came out is about the future of um, synthetic biology. And a lot of that has oh. to do with viruses. Oh. Yeah. So my publisher is like, hey, could we like get yeah, that manuscript that now? <laughs> let's uh, get that out now. So, so viruses are, um, a virus is kind of like a USB stick, you know, and, and like if you shove a USB stick into your computer, stuff comes out, you know, maybe good, maybe bad, maybe malware, maybe a benevolent system that can fix like broken code. It's a, it's a, it's a way of transmitting code. And, and really that's what a virus is. It's just code. It's, yeah. it's a way of transmitting code. <clears throat> and of course the problem is we don't know, you know, like, Linux is complicated. Like computer systems have, have, are like easy, but but in in some ways super super compu complicated. And and you don't always know how if you you know if you install something new, how that might have next order impacts on all the other parts of your machine, right? Um, so we don't know what the bugs look like uh, yet with this particular virus. I think is the problem, um, and we're not gonna know because. And that it, this is kind of interesting. This is why supercomputers have been uh, in the news a lot because they're trying to crunch numbers on what are all the different ways that this virus could impact uh, given all of these different variables and if we introduce these types of medications. It, it's it's just it's just like <clears throat> it's a compute problem at this point more than anything else. So oh, interesting. What an interest. That's, now, that's, that's how I think that's your that's your particular slant on it. Uh, and yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm uh, yeah, I don't have a my background's game theory, not right. biology. So I don't I don't know. And I think part of the problem is there's a lot of um, the 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 other problem that we're dealing with is this like infodemic um, where there's all this information coming at us from every different direction. It's hard to tell what's believable and what's credible and you know it's it's just really challenging yeah, yeah. You've never had to have bullshit filters up quite so high i mean it, it's the amount of conflicting evidence that comes first off if you've got it you're immune now if you've got it you're probably not right. immune you might have three to five percent of people might have enough antibodies to give them limited resistance they're now apparently spinning off tom hanks's blood for antibodies I you knew that was coming <laughs> you know <laughs> Yeah. Do, and everybody but, wants to know, uh, does that it, will we also be better people after the uh, injection? <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs>